ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம இட் இஸ் இண்டீட் அ கிரேட் ஆனர் ஃபார் அஸ் டு ப்ரெசென்ட் யூ அண்ட் ஆடியோ ஆஃப் த சினாப்சிஸ் ஆஃப் த பிரசிடென்ஷியல் அட்ரஸ் டெலிவர்ட் பை மகா வித்வான் பாலகாட் மணியர் அட் த மெட்ராஸ் மியூசிக் அகாடமி ஆன் தி எயிட்டீன்த் டிசம்பர் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் the absence of the original version and the wealth of information and advice that shri maniyar conveys through his speech was one of the main reason for this project there is definitely going to be an impact on the translated version of the tamil speech in terms of loss of emphasis punctuation and overall presentation and thoughts of the vidwan However keeping all the above in mind and with the sole intent and purpose of bringing his thoughts views and ideas to a larger audience of discerning rasikas and music students we have undertaken this venture for your listening pleasure Shri Maniyer commences by saying that whatever he wanted to say as president of the conference was not from studying music books or books related to mridangam but instead out of his own experience of over 40 years as an active exponent of this instrument he makes it very clear up front that his advice in the mridangam learning and musical performances in general is directed towards those who have some kind of a gift and according to that they might benefit by proper proper teaching and training under a guru ideally he suggests that students should start learning this art form before the age of 10 learning should not be with the intention of making a profession or making money out of it practice what is learned with devotion and concentration regard for one's guru is absolutely necessary lessons have to be played often and in varying tempos so that perfection and clarity is attained at all speeds The students should start listening to performances for about 4 to 5 years thereby enabling them to gain experience by observing and listening Only those who have both practical knowledge and performing ability should enter the subtleties of the art and speak about it Others could only make mere general observation in a superficial manner shri mani er feels that it is possible to indicate to some extent on what is unnecessary in the carnatic music scene and feels that both students and practitioners of this art form may take appropriate steps to avoid the same his first emphasis is on the clear demarcation of clear demarcation on what is suitable for the voice rendition and those which are peculiarly fitted to instrument playing like violin veena flute etc he is of the strong opinion that sangatis with a, which are characteristic of instrument playing should not find a place in the vocal rendition on the other hand introducing sangatis of the voice into instrument playing is indeed praiseworthy vocal music is the basis for all he feels that there is no need to change the sangatis characteristics forms existing in both raga singing and compositions which are seminal old and rooted in experience merely to claim originality if something is added 
that does become an unnecessary element. His definition of a Vidwan is someone who can hold the audience consisting of both lay as well as erudite rasikas for over three hours and make them without any difference of opinion forget their own preoccupations and be immersed in the joy of music. This person is indeed called a Mahavidwan, the one who has enriched in Nada Vidya. For the Murdangam artist who wished to excel in the accompanying techniques, he had a few advices like Start only when the vocalist or the instrumentalist has been able to establish the tempo and measure of the Kriti. This could possibly take a keen observation of a couple of rounds of the Thala at the beginning. Also, he feels that it is so necessary to stop playing at times and understand the way the composition is being rendered rather than blindly playing at all times till the vocalist or instrument stops. Start with takas and slow tempo and according to the situation proceed to medium tempo and use farans etc. The duration of a Murdangam solo should depend on how much interest the audience shows in listening to the same and in most occasions should not be more than 5 to 10 minutes. This 10 minute time limit, he says, is also applicable to a great extent to the raga singing as well. He is also quite vocal in pointing out some of the reasons for the decline in the ability to perform better. They are lack of proper and true training. Anxiety to pander to the taste of the public and win easy applause. With more and more music colleges and the need for round-the-clock concerts in the AIR, naturally there was a need for a large number of performers. This situation has also warranted in artists with modest attainments to gain recognition. In his opinion, government scholarships were being awarded to those who are not fit for this and thus lowering the standard of our art. In the selection of students and young musicians for scholarship and pretty much in all matters concerning the art, the authorities must co-opt and appoint outstanding expert artists. They can assist in ensuring that proper justice is done in this regard. If a youngster has not been able to make a mark, it is solely due to some shortcomings in him or her. They would do well to introspect on the same and improve themselves soon. In conclusion, he states, that the pure art combined with a good conduct has a great bearing and is a sure recipe for a successful musical career. Thank you.